We have a question from Dana Wilson. Dave, what am I looking for when reading suspension data? Currently, I'm looking at travel and speed or rate of travel, but I don't know what I'm looking for. What do I do with this data? Well, without knowing the device you're using, Dana, I'm not sure what I could suggest, but if you're using essentially GPS data that's giving you lines as well as speed, there's some really good things you could look at. Number one, are you using the same lines in the corners that you go through? Or are your lines erratic? So if you're working on turning point and apex point so that that predetermines your exit point, then obviously that's great data for you to use in terms of looking for consistency in turn-in and apex point. If you're using rate of travel, then obviously you can tell where you're braking. So are your brake markers at any area in the track that you're riding on and using in terms of data, are they the same? Is your entry speed, if you're trail braking into a corner, for example, the same in each of the corners or is it not? Is there some erratic numbers there as well? One of the caveats really with using data is that none of us get to ride a racetrack on our own. We all have to deal with track day riders or race practice or racing by itself where there are multiple classes involved in any given race or waves. And to that end, data becomes very flawed because if we're looking for consistency, certainly in a race or a track day environment, you're not gonna get it simply because there's always traffic, you're always gonna to have to amend your lines, and you are always gonna have different data based on the track conditions even, if that changes where it became damp and it was sunny especially at Miller Motorsports Park, where we have the big weekend this weekend with World Superbike and AMA. So to that end, if you get some clean laps, then that's good data for you to use. So Dana, I would suggest break a track up into sections, work on those sections. If you get clean laps, you know which ones they were in your practice sessions. Discard the ones that were not clean and then look at that data and lay over the data lap after lap and after lap on top of itself so you can see how you're doing. It's all really good stuff and it will really inform you also of how consistent you can be when you do get a clean lap. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please send them to me via Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks very much.